LR, the liberal redneck here, coming to you from a country dealing with a natural disaster that could be described as a flood of biblical proportions. Having survived and dealt with three floods, I have a level of sympathy that not everyone can appreciate. There's nothing good about it. I'm willing to bet that the majority of these new flood victims do not have any flood insurance. That was the case for me when we had the first flood in 1986. In those days, our place was not listed as being in a flood zone, and we could not have purchased flood insurance if we had wanted to. Fortunately, that has been changed, and even someone living in a high-rise apartment building can buy flood insurance today. That meant that we had to bear the cleanup and rebuild expense all on our own. We did have insurance for the second flood, but it was not nearly enough. We ignored a cardinal rule of floods. If it happened once, it will happen again. We were led to believe the first flood was a hundred-year flood that only happened at once every, every century. For us, it was 20 years before the next flood. Even though we were underinsured, FEMA had not been decimated by a string of natural disasters like they have today, and the president had not raided their funding to build a fucking wall. So we were able to get a 2% loan to cover the damage. That meant our paid-for home now had a new mortgage. We decided to go whole hog and did a frame-up restoration of the entire house. This time, we made it eight years before the next flood, which was called a 500-year flood. We had learned our lesson about the insurance and had adequate coverage that we were paying over $2,000 a year for. Finally, it got through our thick skulls that we were fighting a losing battle, so we took the insurance money, sold the property, once valued at over 250000 for seventy five, or just enough to pay off the previous loan from FEMA, and got the hell out of Dodge. Congress finally passed a disaster relief bill for current victims, but it will likely fall very short of what is actually needed. My advice, based on considerable experience, is take your loss and walk away because in all likelihood it's going to happen again, especially because of our extreme climate change. If you do decide to stay and rebuild, beware of the scammers and only do business with companies you know because the vultures are already circling your property ready to take advantage of your circumstances and Buy as much insurance as you can possibly afford. You can reach me at theliberalredneck at gmail.com and you can visit live with me, the pagan goddess and the progressive Christian for our weekly wrap-up every Friday at noon central on blogtalkradio.com forward slash theliberalredneck. Thanks for watching.